It is obligatory upon the accountable persons to embrace the religion of Islam, to remain steadfast to it, and to comply with what is obligatory upon them of its rules. That is, every accountable person must be Muslim, stay Muslim, and follow the rules of Islam. The accountable person is the one who is pubescent, sane, meaning not crazy, and heard the call of Islam, that is, he received the basic message. For example, if one heard and understood the testification of faith, no one is God except Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, one has received the basic message. This means it is an obligation upon the accountable person to embrace al Islam immediately by uttering the two justifications of faith. No one is God except Allah, and Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. To become a Muslim, the person has to believe in the meaning of the two justifications of faith and utter them immediately with his tongue, even if no other person hears him. Also, one should not delay uttering the two justifications of faith by taking a bath first or doing other matters as some people falsely claim. The person can say the two justifications of faith in any language. It is not a condition to say them in Arabic. As for the one who is Muslim, it is an obligation upon that person to stay Muslim and follow the rules of Islam, that is to perform the obligations and refrain from committing the sins. The meaning of Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah is I know, I believe in my heart and I declare with my tongue that nothing deserves to be worshipped except Allah, who is one, that is, he does not have partners to him in Godhood. He is indivisible because he is not a body. He is eternal and everlasting, that is, Allah has no beginning and no end to his existence. Allah exists without a beginning, and everything else exists with a beginning. Allah is alive and does not die. He is the creator and everything else is a creation. Every creation that exists, be it among entities or deeds, from the fine dust to the ceiling of paradise, al-arsh, and every movement, rest, intention, and thought of the people is created by Allah. Hence no one other than Allah creates anything. Things become existent by Allah's eternal will, power, and knowledge, as mentioned in the Qur'an. Allah Ta'ala said, الذي له ملك السماوات والارض ولم يتخذ ولدا ولم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في الملك وخلق كل شيء فقدره تقديرا The verse means Allah created everything he raised all the creation from the state of non-existence into the state of existence. No one creates with this meaning of creating except Allah. Allah Ta'ala said in Al-Qur'an, هَلْ مِنْ خَالِقٍ غَيْرُ اللَّهِ يَرْزُقُكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ the verse means, no one is the creator except Allah. Imam al nasafi a famous scholar, said, if a person hit a glass with a stone and broke it, then the acts of hitting and breaking and the state of being broken were created by Allah. The person only acquires the act. Allah is the only one who creates. Allah Ta'ala said in Al-Quran, لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت. The verse means every self will be rewarded by Allah for the good deeds it acquired and will be accountable for the sins it acquired. 
Allah Ta'ala is the sustainer. He is the knowledgeable, powerful, and the one who does whatever He wills. That is, whatever Allah eternally willed to be, shall be. And whatever Allah eternally did not will to be, shall not be. مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ كَانْ وَمَا لَمْ يَشَأْ لَمْ يَكُنْ Allah Ta'ala is the one who without his protection no one can evade sinning and without his help no one has the strength to obey him. This is the meaning of لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله Allah has attributed with all proper perfection and is clear of all imperfection. There is nothing like him and he is attributed with hearing and sight. Allah hears what is hearable without an ear or any other instrument and sees all seeable things without an eye or a need for light. This is so because creations need instruments to hear and see and Allah does not resemble any of his creation, hence he does not need any instruments. The speech, Kalam of Allah, is without a beginning, like all of his other attributes. His eternal speech is not like ours. It is not with letters, sounds, or any language, for all these are created. God created languages, letters, and sounds. He the exalted is unlike all the creations in the self, attributes, and actions. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is greatly clear of all what the blasphemers, the non-Muslims say.